Boston and its surrounding suburbs make up a sprawling abundance of commuters going into Boston each day. Of course, nowadays most people have cars and move into the city by themselves, but back in the 1930s or so, cars weren't as affordable as they are now. The simplest and fastest way at the time was the public transit system, to be more specific, the streetcar. It was sleek, it was modern, it was fast, it was convenient, running right down the middle of main roads for easy access. They got you to and from Boston comfortably and safely. So, what happened to them? Where did the Boston street runners go? Streetcars in Boston date back to 1889, with the West End Company debuting their streetcar route that ran from the Alston Railroad Depot to Coolidge Corner and Park Square, just right outside of the Boston Common. About a decade later, in 1897, the Tremont Street Subway opened underneath the Boston Common, marking North America's first subway system. From there, lines sprawled everywhere like an explosion. Lines were going to every major city center and town center, as far out as Arlington Heights and Roslindale. Most lines ran in the middle of the streets as well, reducing the need to maintain dedicated right-of-ways, and they were right in front of people's front yards. And, with the lack of cars on the roads, the streetcars could move much, much faster, increasing service and time it took to get in and out of Boston. But as with anything, innovation of new technology catches up to them, in the form of the motor coach, also known as a bus, and the trackless trolleys. Buses and trackless trolleys were easy on maintenance and operation costs, but their biggest impact was infrastructure. As you may be able to tell, buses only had their bus stops as their infrastructure. Trackless trolleys had the trolley wires, but operated like buses otherwise. Streetcars had a whole abundance of infrastructure that needed to be maintained. Like the wires, the poles, the cars themselves, the stations, and the biggest one was the tracks because the tracks were embedded into the asphalt on the road. The only way to repair the tracks required the entire road surface to be ripped up, adding to more repair costs. Also at this time, cars started to be more affordable and widely used, which means more cars on the roads that the streetcars ran on, causing congestion, slowing down streetcars, and causing delays. One by one, street, the street runners either got ripped up and replaced with buses, or the road was reconfigured so that the trolleys could run in the median of the road. This kept happening until the last three remaining. In 1969, the A branch of the, MBTA's, of the MBTA's Green Line to Watertown closed and was converted to bus service. So was the E branch service between Heath Street and Arbor Way at Forest Hills. Now one section of the street running trolley remains between Brigham Circle and Heath Street. This section of track shows what the trolleys in the Boston scenario area once were and will always be. No matter what side of the road they are on, they will always be the Boston Street Runners.